Now that we understand a little bit about the memory hierarchy of a processor, we can gain some insight into the performance graphs that we saw before. In this particular performance graph, we chose different micro tile sizes and optimized the microkernel for those micro tile sizes. And what we saw was a degradation in performance as the problem size got bigger. Now, in the last homework, you calculated the size of the largest square matrix that fits in the L1 cache, in the L2 cache, and the L3 cache. And we show those sizes now on this graph. And all of a sudden, you can start guessing at where this degradation in performance comes from. So let's not worry too much about what happens in the L1 cache, but it's pretty clear that we see good performance while the problem size still fits in the L2 cache, then we see a degradation as the problem size no longer fits in the L2 cache, but does fit in the L3 cache. And then finally, the problem becomes so large that it no longer fits in the L3 cache, and we see a further degradation in performance. So in this week, we're going to see if we can't improve things a bit so that we get pretty consistent performance for all problem sizes.